it's about uh, 9.35 in the morning here local time. And I think it's remarkable that these people are just now beginning to set up to worship. They were thinking about worshiping here inside the Burnout Church, but uh, right now things are being moved to a setting just outside the building. We estimate it's about 450 to 500 people were killed here. And we estimate the population of this town before the attack is about 2,000. Uh, some of the Muslims that were staying in Dogonahawa with the Christians left earlier before the attack. And How did they know to leave early? No one knows. The villagers got up that morning to see them packing and leaving without telling anybody leaving. Not knowing that there is an attack they are planning. <laughs> now when the attackers came, they came with those particular villages mm -hmm. that were staying here and those villagers were pointing at houses. They would tell them, burn this house, then burn this house, burn this one, kill this one and just leave this one. Yeah, no problem, but kill these other ones. You know, they were pointing at houses. That is why not all houses were burned at a stretch as it used to be. Mm -hmm. You know, but the dead casualties are much more than burnt. So this is selective then? Yes, in burning. Because a lot of times people want to send their women out to have them been safe uh, before, before the danger. And not knowing to them that these people were outside the city, as the children and the women are going to escape for their lives, they keep killing, killing them because most of them were holding machets, knives and mm -hmm. long swords. They keep dividing some of them. Uh, cutting their heads into two, even a little child, no matter how small. And some little children who could run, they would follow them as far as almost half a kilometer to kill them. There was no mercy for anyone trying to escape. How many uh, attackers were there? Uh, according to one of them, he said about 300 of them came in here. This is such a premeditated attack. Yes. The Christians haven't retaliated. No, not at all. Situation. This is also another proof to tell the whole world that Christians never fight with Muslims. All that has been happening in Jos is Muslims attacking Christians, in some cases Christians defending themselves. <laughs> Oh, yeah.